it's your boy Ego back with another edition of the matchup. Gennady Golovkin, aka Triple G, is known for his vicious punching power as well as a decorated amateur background. Golovkin has seemingly taken the boxing world by storm. For his first televised USA debut, he took on Gregor Prosca, who was ranked at middleweight at the time. Triple G takes no prisoners with a clever mix of boxing and brawn. Gennady began to fine tune his skills under the direction of trainer Abel Sanchez. From that point on, the two began their conquest for middleweight supremacy. Most recently, Gennady took on his biggest fight to date against formidable Irishman Matthew Macklin. Previously, Macklin was known for knocking out Joe Asim Alcine in the first round and giving middleweight kingpin Sergio Martinez fits before Sergio stopped him in the 11th round. Against Macklin, Gennady came out fast, seizing this opportunity as if to issue a statement to all other middleweights that there's a new sheriff in town. It was apparent early that Macklin was not equipped to deal with Gennady's punishing style. Macklin seemed unusually timid and outmatched. Against the ropes, Golovkin landed a vicious body shot on Macklin, sending him straight to the canvas. He never recovered from that body shot. After the fight, Macklin stated that Gennady was a far better fighter than Sergio, having faced both of them in the ring. Gennady has a record of 27-0 with an incredible KO percentage of 89%, knocking out 24 of those 27 opponents. Other notable opponents include a third round brutal knockout over Nobuhiro Ishida and Gabriel Rosado. Next we have Curtis Showtime Stevens from the tough streets of Brooklyn, New York. Growing up, Stevens was always athletic. He started boxing at age 5 and later became an all-star middle linebacker at his high school in Brooklyn. Stevens turned pro in 2004 and has had a roller coaster career ever since. Stevens is a fighter who showed promise and was a national amateur standout. As a professional, his full potential has not yet been realized, losing his biggest fights to date. During a fight he was controlling, it appeared Stevens began to fatigue. He was then stopped by Marcos Primera in 2006. A rematch took place and Stevens had a chance to avenge that loss, beating Primera by unanimous decision. In 2007, Curtis Stevens lost to Andre Durrell. In 2010, he lost to Jesse Brinkley in a title eliminator. Stevens knew that he had to make some changes to preserve his career. He went back to the basics and began to refocus. After making some adjustments, Stevens has strung together some credible wins. He has won his last four fights, and three out of those four have come by way of knockout, including a sensational knockout over veteran Saul Roman, and unanimous decision win over tough, durable fighter Derek Finley. Stevens has a record of 25 wins, three losses, with 18 of those wins coming via KO. Now let's take a look at the match. At age 28, Stevens is three years younger than his opponent. Golovkin has a three and a half inch height advantage, while Stevens has a one and a half inch reach advantage. Curtis Stevens' strengths include his power, a nasty left hook, and confidence, while Golovkin's strengths include his devastating punching power, his composure, and his extensive amateur background. After several verbal attacks and multiple occasions calling out Triple G, did Curtis Stevens bite off more than he could chew? Will Triple G be able to continue his dominant win streak when he steps in the ring with someone who has enough punching power to rival his own? On November 2nd, monsters collide. And something tells me only one man will be standing the entire fight. Hooks will be thrown, chins will be tested. Both men vow to knock each other out. Stevens has taunted Golovkin with pictures of tombstones and various trash talk, while Golovkin likes to do his talking inside of the ring. It's power versus power. This fight may come down to who lands the big shot first. When it comes to war, there can be only one. Who wins? You decide. As always, leave a comment and subscribe.